Karate instructor Ali Khalil is a Muslim from an Arab village in the north of Israel. Three times a week he comes to the neighboring Jewish community to teach children the traditions of martial arts. Although the two villages are less than 10 minutes walk from each other, these neighbors wouldn't usually have any contact. It's their joint love of martial arts that brings them together. And this epitomizes what Budo for Peace is all about. The goal of Budo for Peace is to bring children who are in conflict areas uh, to understand about respect, tolerance, non-violence, and break down the barriers of ignorance and fear. The organization's founder, Danny Hakim, is aware of the paradox of fighting for peace. As a sixth degree black belt and twice karate world championship silver medalist, he says it can be done. It sounds funny that how you can make peace using martial arts, but I mean, you see, these kids do it together and there is harmony. If you shout, yeah, like this, okay, after, I feel more relaxed. And that way you can feel calm with other people. The goal is clear, but misconceptions on both sides can make it difficult to achieve. הלכתי לשם, והם קיבלו אותי יפה מאוד, עבדתי איתם, אנשים נהדרים מאוד, ואני בטוח שהם גם כן למדו על זה שהערבים הם גם כן טובים מאוד. In fact, Budo for Peace has been the springboard for additional contact between the two villages. I didn't expect that we were going to become such good friends with the teacher, Ali, that we were going to sit in his living room, that he and his family were going to sit in our sukkah, that I was going to end up teaching kids in his village. It's very natural, it's very normal, we're neighbors. Budo for Peace runs 20 clubs where some 400 children learn the values of Budo philosophy. Bowing, which indicates mutual respect and goodwill, is an important element in martial arts. The children learn to develop inner power and inner harmony that they extend to the outer world. This all prepares them for meeting children from a different sector. My children uh, definitely feel friendly with the kids through Budo for Peace when they have classes together, when there are competitions together, certainly. There is a buzz, there's interest. Clubs that have been existing for years want to join us. But now we have interest in other countries. Last year, Ali introduced me to a joint Danian instructor with 400 students. He's willing to join Budo for Peace. It's also possible in Egypt and in other countries. Hakim's aim is to spread the Budo for Peace concept throughout the region. And having seen it work so well in Israel, he's certain that it has enormous potential to ease tensions across borders.